1963 Volkswagen split screen. This is a 1600 model. Uh, these are the original colors, so it's cream over blue. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork. It is a right-hand drive model as well. Um, Bodywork-wise, it is very straight, and it's nice and solid, but it does have a couple of little marks and things that need attention here and there. Just little bits like, for example, around this, this wing mirror, all the fixings have gone a little bit orange. Quarter light on the driver's door has a couple of little issues with it. But again, if you look down the side, really straight. It's not covered in dents. It's not been kicked or, or bashed apart. Obviously been well looked after. If we look at the bottom of the driver's door, there's a couple of little bubbles in the paint there. The very bottom. The arch itself on the front driver's side, it's lovely and clean. Inside the arch, it's good. Underneath the van, looks nice and clean. There's a couple of little marks on the leading edge there. Of the door where it's been opened on something. All the glass is nice and clear. The seals look to be pretty good all over it. It, uh, it has been sat on a drive and there's no sign of any moisture anywhere on it. So it's not like it's leaking, which is always a good sign. Chip on the bottom of this, there's obviously a really big panel, as you can see. You've got a chip at the bottom here. You've got a scratch just here, right in the middle of the whole thing. Let's have a look along the bottom of there. As you can see, that's all nice and clean under there. Do have a little bit of a scratch there. In fact, that's actually just polish. You can see someone hasn't done a very good job taking their polish off, but the sill itself is all nice and clean, nice and solid. Underneath, that looks good as well. <clears throat> this rear arch, again, nice and clean, nice and solid. Around here can quite often, down this seam, can quite often be a bit of a problem, but that all looks to be nice and clean as well. It does have a small bit of cracking on the body line. A little bit of surface rust around that window. But again, like I say, it is watertight. Nothing's come through or anything like that. A little bit on the on the gutter, which is quite a you know, common area on a, on early VWs, Type 2s. Um, again, looking down that side, you can see nice and straight. On the rear, a little bit of uh, rust on the bracket for the bumper. And we've got a couple of cracks. So one here. There's a little bit of residue where stuff's sort of been left on the paint. And if we open this tailgate, you'll see just a little bit of pew in here. But it's nothing that particularly detracts from the from the van. It just wants a little bit of love. Do have a mark on the on the bonnet on the roof there and along the window trim. Best thing for me on this one is it's clean, it's straight. Again, you look down this side, nice and straight. Mechanically, it seems very good. Um, and it's a bit of a blank canvas. It's not been messed with and modified. This seam on the rear, which quite often can be an issue. That's nice all the way along on the passenger side. Get a couple of little marks on the gutter going up. But it's definitely not rotten. This rear arch, again, nice and clean. And this sill, apart from some, some leftover polish. There's nothing concerning there at all. There is just these streaks down the paint. Whether they polish out or not with a proper machine polish, I don't know. Um, it's been sat on the drive for a while. It hasn't had the use that, that they thought it would. Um, and that's obviously why that's been left there. You've got a little bit of a crack around the hinge here on this side door. So it is the proper twin door version as well. Some cracking along the bottom there. It sort of goes along both doors. And there's a little one along the top here. Um, on the front passenger, oh, so that hinge again, same sort of thing. So the actual metal rod that's gone through is rusted the paint. Along the leading edge of the window on the dry, on the passenger side, that could deal with a little bit of attention, and it is missing the mirror glass from the from the passenger wing mirror, and then same on the on the on the door, same as on the driver's door, uh, bubbling in the paint there and a crack in the paint. Um, the front, again, so correct body coloured VW badge, all that sort of stuff. The lenses and the covers are all very nice, apart from. The passenger side, it has a crack in this one. The nice thing with these is you can buy just about every part out of the box for these things. You can uh, you can pretty much build a new one with parts available in the UK. And then going up the roof on the front, it's had a stone chip that's sort of progressed into a nice bit of bubbling in the paint, but those two front windows are good and quite often you find problems around here. But again, that's all nice. We'll have a look at the interior. So again, there's a couple of little bits where Sort of water's just sat, but again, most of this would actually clean off. Um, and the door card needs putting back on properly, so it's sort of creased here, but it it would come back to sitting right. And you've got a bit of crud on the end there. 
what looks to be the original seats in the front. So the brown sort of vinyl seats. It does have two holes in the driver's seat. Painted dash, so a cream body colored top, blue look, again body colored bottom. And there is a crack here in the paint. Um, doesn't appear to be rusty. I don't know if it just had hard paint at some point. The headlining while we're here is coming away at the front. But other than that, as you can see, the rest of the headlining is really, really good. I uh, I got in the van at the back and looked at it and thought it had a brand new headlining. And then obviously as you get the front, it's obviously not just, it's just missing the finish a bit that, that holds it in place properly. So you could get away with putting that back. You definitely salvage it. Um, obviously it sits in this trim here. And there should be a bit of finishing trim that sort of covers the whole thing, stops it sagging. But like I say, the rest of it is lovely. So I've just had a fairly recent carpet set. It's all good. It's showing 44,000 miles or 44,000 kilometers. I don't have anything in the way of history to, to back that up. Um, so, you know, it's assume it's been around the clock, which is kind of the point of these things. They're meant to go on tour. Um, but it is possible it's correct. It would, there's nothing that sort of leads me to say it's not. Um, but again, like I say, until we've got some, you know, we'll, we'll pour through what we've got in the description. Um, we'll mention what we've got paperwork wise to verify that, but we'll we'll let you know in the description. So it does have a new fuel gauge and a new temperature gauge. Um, they both seem to work. There's this fuel in it, and it's, it's obviously going to where it is. And then temperature gauge, obviously, it ran up to the correct temperature today while we had it sitting around. Mechanically, I, I, I picked this thing up this morning. I thought, oh, there's no way this is going to start. It's, it's an old VW, but actually, it starts on the button. Runs beautifully. Uh, this door card again, same thing. So it wants reattached on this side again properly. The seat, seats two and three in the front could do with a clean, but actually they're they're not ripped, they're not torn. There's no nasty smells or anything in here, which is nice. Um, so that's all nice and, and clean. We'll uh, we'll have a look in the back. So it's obviously the twin doors, as you can see, um, and they have put a second or a different bench to the rear, which does drop down into a bed. The original bench is there, and we do have the correct bench that matches these that goes in that spot, um, which is, is up here, I'll show you. I'll quickly go and have a look at that. I should have put it closer to the van, but hey-ho. So there you go, there's the bottom piece. There's the backrest that goes with it. Again, it could do with a good clean, but there's no rips or tears in that piece. And then the, the bottom piece again, you do with a clean, but it's it's they're nice and solid. They come they, they come up nice actually. To be fair, if you wanted to put it back to how it should be, that's that's the way to do it. Again, sorry for putting it so far away. Poor preparation on my behalf. We can pull this one out of the way, and we can have a look. Obviously, this bulkhead is lovely and clean all the way along. There's no marks or any damage at all to that. It's really really good. Push that back in there, and again, it's still got the correct paneling down the sides, which is nice. Again, the whole thing could do with a clean, but it it is good. Same with the door cards on these two doors. They want reattached on this side, but this one's been attached nice. And like I say, this is an aftermarket sort of bench seat, um, which is pretty much brand new, but it does drop down. You can see the, all the mechanisms and everything there. It drops down into a bed. And then there's your third sheet in the back, which we'll, we'll go around and have a look at. So obviously that drops to make to make your bed. It does have the correct carpet and everything under there. If we have a look in the engine bay, everything's nice and clean in there. Fuel filter's nice and clean. There's no sign of any oil leaks or anything like that. It's all nice and clean in there. There's nothing at all. It's a bit dusty, but there's no corrosion or anything like that. It does look to be a good, a good setup. Like I say, it started and ran lovely this morning. Um, and I've moved it a couple of times since. It's never not started. It's been warm and, and cold. And it's been happy both times. Well, uh, we'll get it started up. So there you go. No choke. Nothing like that. Just starts quite happy. No sign of any smoke or anything coming out the back. Very nice blank canvas of a split screen. Turn it into exactly what you want, or just clean it up and use it as it is. Like I say, it's got a couple of little marks on the bodywork, but nothing that particularly detracts from it. Um, if you've got any more inquiries, any questions, please get in touch.